Okay. This video here is for uh, beginner stagehands, and uh, it's okay if you're a beginner, but you got to know what some of these cables are. Okay. Uh, first thing is, as far as the back line, back line is the uh, are the amps and the basically the band gear. So if you're gonna be working with back line, you're gonna need to know what some of these cables are called. This cable here, this connector. Here. This is called a quarter inch cable, also known as a guitar cable or a guitar cord. Cord is spelled C O R D as opposed to C H O R D, which is another type of guitar cord. A guitar cord spelled C H O R D is the type that you strum and make sound with, you know, like different keys. But a C O R D is a cord or a cable. And so this quarter inch cable has the tip and the sleeve, okay? Just two parts. So this is a straight plug, and the male end is also called the plug, and the female end that looks like this is called the jack. This type of plug is a right angle plug that goes into the jack. And there's also a few other kinds of jacks. See, see, these are quarter inch jacks also, but these have a little tab on them. Anytime you see a tab on a jack, when you plug it in, before you pull it out, you have to push the tab in to pull it out. It's a little lock, okay? And then, <coughs> as far as quarter inch cables go, there's also uh, a stereo quarter inch cable. The stereo quarter inch cable, this is also called a tip ring sleeve. It's the same exact size as a guitar cord, and it um, has the tip. The ring is the little part in the middle, and then the sleeve. The sleeve is always the ground. And here's another. This is just a plastic jack that's mounted on into the. And there's no lock on this one. You just put it right in there. Okay. Next type of cable that I can show you is, looks just like a guitar cord, but it's a speaker cable, or speaker cord. See, it's the same quarter inch as a guitar cord, so you might ask yourself, what is different? Well, speaker cords are usually a little thicker, and look close, they will say speaker cable on it, right, on the cable, but this one's quite worn out, so you won't be able to see it. So, how you can tell the difference is, is if you open them up. You open them up. The cable for the tip is usually a little thinner, but this cable, this cable here has the same size cable on both the tip and the sleeve for the ground. So it's a speaker cable. Okay, then if you're in doubt, ask somebody. Okay, be over here. See, yellow goes to yellow. Okay, this jack here is also a speaker jack. This is called an L4 connection. A lot of people call it a Neutrik connection. The problem with that is Neutrik is the brand name of a cable and they make a lot of different type of connectors. See what the, ca see what the cable end looks like. This is what the cable end looks like there. Okay, and when you plug it in, plug it in and you twist it once, and you'll hear a little snap. Yeah. Just line up the little Little tabs right there, see the little tab? I guess this way here, you'll have the little tab, put it in and you twist it until it snaps. Then you pull back on this little thing right here, which is usually on the top. I don't know, it's an ampeg, I guess it's on the bottom. So you pull it back and then you twist it back the other way, pull it back out. Another type of cable, common on wireless. Stuff. See, this is a wireless antenna here. Okay, and these kind of cables are called BNC cables. Used for antenna transmission, mostly video stuff. So, if you're working in a video department, you might see a lot of these BNC cables. Okay, and the jack for the BNC looks like. Like this. And these go in, and once they go in, they also 
with the optical cable, but just the tip. Twists and locks into place. Okay? You've seen these before, right? This one's mounted sideways, but uh, maybe a hubble, but this is a regular AC outlet. AC alternating to currents. Uh, some people call it Edison cable. Edison cables are everywhere in the United States. North America. This one has the ground broken off intentionally. Okay, because uh, I need a ground, ground lift and I ground lift this one every single day, so that's why this one is off of here. This is an XLR cable, also known as a mic cable. It's got a little tab here, so when you plug it in, it'll snap in and you press this button right here to pull it back out. They have three, three holes, three connectors. The jack for it looks just like this. So when they plug in, they snap in. And then to get them out, squeeze a little tab, squeeze a little tab, and pull it out. Okay? And then, get the mic, bottom of it, I'm plugging in a microphone, you just rotate, line the Put it in, line the pins up, push it in. There you go, and then pull it out, you take it off the mic, squeeze the tab again right here, and you pull it out. I can do it one hand, you can do it two hands, okay? These are just like a computer, these are Ethernet cables for networking wireless stuff. Okay, see? It's just a regular network cable. Now, if I have one on here, I'd show you, but this, sometimes there's a thing that looks like a mic cable. If it has a, has a tab on it, sometimes you need a tab to take those out of there. Okay, and this connector here, multi-pin cable for audio. See how it's turning right there? Get loose, then it pulls right out. Or jack looks like. All those little, all those little pins in there. There you go. All those little pins sticking out. Here's what the tip of the plug looks like. The tip of the plug. See, it's got these little, little grooves right there, like tabs sticking up. They can only go in one way. So you put it in. Before you push it in too hard, you just rotate this thing until you find the pin, the grooves line up. And you take this, and as you're wiggling this tiny little bit like this, you start start to feed it on there. Once you get it fed on there, once or twice, then it'll turn by itself. And you don't have to hold on to the cable at all. Also, and this one's not marked, but I personally, tour crew should do this, but I always put an arrow for the upside so you don't you can line up real easy. Uh, there you go. That way, you know which way it goes. Then you just make sure it's all the way snug down. There are two types of MIDI cables. MIDI cables, like this, commonly used on keyboard rigs, some guitar rigs. MIDI cables are either 5 pin or 7 pin. I've got another video that shows a 7 pin MIDI cable and what the 7 pins are for. How they work, uh, made by Rocktron. This one here is a Planet Waves cable and it's a 5-pin MIDI. The MIDI cables have a tab so you know which way it goes. Typically, the, speaking, the tab is on top, sometimes it's on the bottom. You just line the pins up and push it in. There's no lock. It just goes in, comes right back out. That's all you gotta do. On a lot of guitar rigs, amps and gear and stuff, you're gonna see this kind of AC plug. Okay, uh, one, see, you've probably seen these on your computers, right? You know what that jack looks like? It's not really a com called a computer jack or a computer power plug. It's this is called an IEC cable. I E C. Okay, and it just plugs in like that.